In this video, we're going to talk about the asymptotic behavior of the solution to the heat equation. So, what it means is that we're interested in looking at the value of ut for large values of t. Uh, in other words, what happens when t goes to plus infinity. Obviously, this will depend on the right hand side to the PDE. Uh, if we assume that f does not depend on t, that f is constant, then we can actually state this proposition. So as uh, we did before, omega will be included in Rd, it's a bounded regular open set, and we have uh, the data, which is the initial condition mu0, and f, which again will be assumed to be independent of t. Okay, well, you, you're not, obviously, it's dependent of t because it's the value of the temperature at t equals zero, but f here will also be independent of t. u will be the solution to the heat equation. Uh, we know the space, uh, it, 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 lives in, it lives in this uh, space E that uh, we have introduced before. So, so this is what we have, and what we're going to say is we're going to state a property on, uh, on u, what we're going to say is that u converges toward a solution u bar that is a solution to the steady state problem that we have uh, discussed before uh, with the elliptic equations because it is an elliptic problem. It's minus Laplace u bar equals f and directly homogeneous directly boundary condition. So it's the Poisson problem. What I'm stating here, the proposition is that if f is a constant uh, with respect to time, uh, then what we have is that the solution to the heat equation converges toward uh, the solution to the steady state problem. Okay, so that is our uh, first proposition, the asymptotic behavior for f constant. Now, what happens if f is equal to zero? Well, obviously it's a constant, uh, zero is a constant, and what we will have is that the norm of ut will go to zero in L2, right? And this makes sense because we know that the steady state problem, if f is equal to zero, well, obviously u bar is equal to zero, right? So what we're stating is that norm L2 of u of t will go to zero. And here is a uh, reference for the proof of this proposition.